Hey folks. Well, listen, I heard someone say recently, and I tell you, I would like to tell you this is my original thinking, but it's not. Although it does complement many of the things that we come to know and appreciate as believers. Uh, but this person said, uh, as an ex-addict, somebody that's been delivered from addiction for a number of years, that they didn't really know that they had hit bottom until they took responsibility for their actions. And I thought that was quite compelling. That uh, oftentimes we talk about people that are struggling with various forms of addiction, whatever it may be, or circumstance that, and they're just, you know, they're just bound in that circumstance or situation or the addictive behavior that they've entered into. And it's hard many times to get a person to just simply see their own role of responsibility in the things that they do and the outcomes in their life. Uh, maybe they didn't cause it to happen, but they certainly were a part of it. And that way, uh, and by the way, I understand that there are some people that are just passively acted upon, like a child that has nothing to do with the circumstance that they're placed in. But it's what we do with what's happened to us that becomes our responsibility. Uh, we're not just computers programmed with a certain degree of outcome. We were created to make decisions and also to be able to make informed decisions, uh, to be able to uh, look at the world around us and to critique that world and, and uh, to, to make decisions based on those things that would be best in the best interest of ourselves and others. So this is why Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11, or that uh, actually in chapter 12, he said, look, you're going to be judged by the words that you speak. Uh, he said, I say to you that every careless word in verse 36 that men shall speak, they shall render account for in the day of judgment. And for by your words you'll be justified, and by your words you shall be condemned. Now, You'll notice in the context there in Matthew 12, Jesus is speaking to those people that had just basically said, everything that you're doing, you're doing by under the authority of the devil himself. And he just said, your rationale is going to be judged. And we express our rationale in words. Uh, it's quite a compelling truth when a person says, I'm the responsible I've actually come to the place where I realize that I am responsible for the circumstance that I'm in. And even if I didn't cause it, I'm responsible for my response to it. The way that I've treated people, the things that I've said, uh, my actions, the hurt or harm that I've done to myself or another. That, that sense of responsibility, the, the maturity in taking responsibility, speaks volumes about a person. We live in a world of victimization today, where everyone is the result of someone else's doing, and no one is actually responsible for anything they've done. They, they can blame it on someone else. The, tra the tragedy with that belief system is that someday we'll stand before God, and God himself will judge us based on the reasoning that allowed us to get to where we were and to act the way we did. And I hope for you and I, our reasoning is this, that I am the product of my own decisions. What is it in Deuteronomy chapter 24 and verse 16 through 18, that the father will not be put to death for the sins of the son, nor the son for the father, but we'll all be accountable for our own doing. Same thing in Ezekiel 18. We're going to be accountable. So let's reason this. I'm a sinner. I have failed in so many ways, and I continue to do so so often. And it's but by the mercy and grace of God that I can acknowledge the fact that I am flawed and in desperate need of a Savior. I, I can't fix this broken system. It's, it's, a, it's a broken cistern. I can't plug the hole. I'm, a damaged, I'm damaged goods. Uh, I, I'm a car, and the Carfax is out. I, I've been wrecked many times. And apart from the grace of God, I have nothing to, 
I have no right to claim anything. But thankfully, by His grace, I can stand before God accepted. And so can you. If you think that about yourself, then you know what? You can think that about another. Till next time, friends. God bless you.